All right, guys, we're going to do an oil change on the Hustler SDX zero turn mower, right? It's the 2017. So basically, guys, this is the brand new 2019 Super Duty, the SD. All right. Uh, they didn't come out with the SDX in 2018. The only way to get it was in the big dog platform, what they called it, I think the Alpha MP or something, or MPX or something. Uh, but it's back uh, in 2019, the SDX. Only difference is it now has the 3100 hydros and some different tires on it. All right. So, like I said, basically, you know, this was a $4,400 mower. $4,500. I think $4,499. So, there was like a five to $600 price difference between this and the SD of 2017. All right. And the only difference really was you had an open deck. Which now, like I said, basically this is the SD. Um, but you have an open deck. Um, you got a different seat. Now, still the new, this is the only difference from the SD 2019 and this 2017 SDX. Is you don't get that air ride type seat. Now, it's not an air ride seat. But it's a, I forget what Hustler calls it. Air something seat. But that's really the only difference. So this is basically your 2019 SD. All right. But that, that's why I think there's so much value in this mower. Um, you know, for $3,800, you know, this is the, the $4,400 um, mower in 2017. So you're basically getting a $600 reduction in price. So, but anyway, this is what you're going to need for your oil change on the SDX and really on the SD or on your Hustler Raptor. All right. You're going to need some oil filter pliers. You're going to need a oil pan, which again, you've seen me with all my videos. This is the best thing to use. All right. A lot of oil pans are just not going to fit underneath your mower, especially this mower. Um, you're going to need oil. I use the Mobile One Synthetic 10W30. You know, some people like using um, a different grade. I like the 10W30. Always works great for me. And you're going to need an oil filter. Uh, you can get these in a two-pack. That's what I usually do. But for your Hustler Raptor, or guys, to be honest with you, any Kawasaki FR or FS series, um, this is the filter you're going to be using. All right, it's basically the 49065. 7007 made in the USA. I never knew that. Um, they have different, you know, they have a more a higher capacity oil filter you can also get, and that's what's probably on this one. This one is very long overdue, this lawnmower for an oil change, but it is what it is. All right, so this is a pre filter, I'll show you about that. Um, but that's basically all you're going to need, guys. And again, don't lose your hose. Um, you know, a lot of uh, oil. Oil filters, well, oil filters, a lot of oil change or a lot of drain plugs. Let's just put it that way. Um, you know, Hustler's still using this little tube here. Um, is it the best? Absolutely not. Is it the worst? You know, it's just, um, it's an extra procedure that you're going to have to do with your Kawasaki. Well, I don't want to say that because really the, uh, the Bobcats... You can get this mower with this drain hose already attached to your mower. And all you got your hose, and right here is the top. You take it off, you drain your oil. Super simple, right? For some reason, Hustler does not want to pay the extra money to get rid of this and just have the hose. You know, the Bobcats have the hose already on them. I think they did. Well, maybe they didn't. I don't know. But, you know, a lot of Briggs engines also have the hose. And take a look at her because she just had her lunch. And now she's ready to hunt. She likes to hunt for rodents and other creatures. But anyway, it's a pain in the neck with this hose, guys. There's a lot of worse setups, trust me. You know, the uh, the Gravely and the Arians, really tight areas to kind of get your oil, ch oil drained. A lot of room here. It's just the stupid hose. But hopefully a lot of these engines... Are going to go to the having the hose already attached. Obviously, on your more expensive mowers, 
the hose is attached but you can start finding these you know 2800 hydro mowers even some 2200 where you got your hose attached and um that's awesome definitely a time saver but i'll show you how to uh, how to start your oil change all right first thing you're gonna do is raise your deck all the way to its max height uh, i think on this mower it's uh, four and a half or 4.75 in transport mode um Love this system on this. Now, is it gonna last like other mowers? I'm not sure, but um, it's been holding up pretty pretty good. All right, so first thing to do, get your oil pan, put it right under, because that's where your oil's gonna go. So put it right underneath there. All right. All right, guys, first thing you wanna do after you have your oil pan um, underneath your mower, obviously to catch the old oil you got your hose all right again not the best setup but this is what we got to work with right so you want to kind of get it down there so it will go right into your pan then you got this two nozzles here one here and one here this is what you're going to loosen all right and that's going to let the oil drain out so you want to put your tube onto this little nipple here all right, there we go. All right, so once you have it on there, double check, make sure that it's gonna go into your drain pan. Underneath. All right, that looks good. All right, then all you gotta do is loosen this, guys. You know, we're gonna see how hard it is to loosen this little bolt Usually it's not on there too tight, so I just got a 7 16 socket. I got a 10 inch extension. Again, to try to get the right angle. All right, just double check. You got that. All right, there goes your oil. All right, make sure you have this out, guys. This will make it flow out a lot quicker, your oil cap. All right, go on the other side and they can see the oil coming out. So pretty simple guys, you don't really even need anything um, too hard. Um, you know, yeah, you don't need an, uh, you know, any type of power tool to loosen that bolt to get the oil out. Just loosen that a little bit more so it will come out a little quicker. There we go. All right, so just let it drain, and while it drains, um, you know, get ready for the other part. We'll be right back with the next thing to do on your Hustler SDX oil change. All right, guys, it's only been probably two minutes, and it's, you know, the make sure you run your, your mower for a little bit. You know, leave it running for at least five ten minutes you know cut your lawn that's the best thing to do so you're not wasting gas but cut your lawn cut your neighbor's lawn and um, that's when you want to um, obviously it'll make it'll be hot it'll drain quicker and um, obviously like this and you see it's very black very very overdue um, I got 84 hours on this and this is its first oil change okay something I don't recommend all right um, you know, this motor, believe it or not, um, tells you to service it every hundred hours. All right. Now, obviously if you're using it commercially, you know, you want to do it every 50 hours. All right. Um, 
you might even want to do it at like the eight or ten hour um, point uh, that's you know when you first get a mower it's kind of breaking in and you know there's a lot of shavings and stuff you know I've talked to a lot of people and they say there's really no need for that now if you watch my other videos I was a big big um, big advocate of you know doing that oil change at the five to eight hour point but after talking to some mechanics and specifically someone very big at the right mower corporation um it says really there's no need for that uh, yes you might have shavings in there but you know that's what the oil filter is for so your oil filter is going to catch it um but something you want to do every 50 hours if you're a homeowner you know, you can replace the oil every 50 hours and the oil filter every 100 hours. Totally up to you. Um, you know, if I'm going as far as doing this, you know, I'll spend $10, $12 on an oil filter. You know, it just gives you some extra peace of mind and a little bit better for your motor. All right. But, you know, do what you want to do, of course. But, um, if you're running it commercially 50 hours, every 50 hours would probably be the best way to do it. All right. All right, real quick guys, obviously I have my jack here. I'm gonna change my blades, but as you can see, I talked about this in another video. Make sure guys, you know, when you store your mower away for the winter, that you really do a good cleaning of it. You know, I know it's gonna be late in the season, you know what happened here guys is we had snow real early and I used this you know I had the Bobcat last year I used that pretty much all last year um, so I didn't really use this too much um, but I remember using it on a fall cleanup and it rained the day before and um, had a lot of wet tall grass a lot of leaves and you know I put it in the garage Next thing I know, three or four or five days later, I can't quite remember, we had our snow and we were pretty much done for the season and it was stored and I kind of forgot that, you know, it was as in bad shape being dirty uh, as it was. So you have the wet leaves stuck to your, your mower and this is what happens over the winter. It just sits on there and pretty much will take the paint right off. I actually have some on this side. So you guys know I'm gonna fix this, hopefully. Um, and you guys know I'm a big advocate. Now the new SDX also has a little bumper uh, on the deck, right? So that that's huge. Um, you know, if you don't have that option, I use duct tape guys and you know, I probably put three or four different uh, applications of duct tape on it once it kind of starts getting scraped up this is fairly new this um, this duct tape on here but you know it'll really protect your deck um, you know if you want to sell it you want it to be the best it can be now obviously this mower is um, <laughs> way past that point but um, you know even up here I kind of had some leaves and it took you know this mower is you know, paint job is pretty, pretty pitiful if you ask me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, but on any mower, guys, it's, you know, not a big deal. I mean, put some duct tape on there. Might You're not trying to impress anybody, you know, with the looks of your mower. Obviously, if you have a bumper, you're good to go. But a lot of mowers don't have that. A couple strips of duct tape will definitely protect the side. Because you got this side running up against, you know, pavers, you know, um, wooden um, fences, um, you know, vinyl fences, you know, retaining walls, brick retaining walls, whatever, curbs. So just by putting a couple uh, strips of uh, duct tape on there will definitely protect it a little bit and definitely more than not putting it on. But it's been around, uh, you know, six, seven minutes, eight minutes, and uh, we're just about done here with the oil drain as you can see we'll be right back
All right, guys. So like I said, first thing you want to do, run your mower, get the uh, oil hot in there. It'll drain a lot quicker. Um, you know, pop your oil cap, got your hose on there. You're draining the oil. Pretty much done. Uh, it takes around 10 minutes. You know, obviously, once you get it set up, you can do something else, you know, um, on your lunch, you know, have a sandwich or whatever, a beverage, you know, nice cold Gatorade. Now we're going to get to the hardest part is taking the oil filter off. Now, after your first oil change, all right, now this is obviously put on by the factory. They put them on really tight, guys, all right? So after this initial oil change, your second and third oil change will be so much quicker because really you only have to put it hand tight. What I do is I put it hand tight and I maybe crank it, you know, one tenth of a kind of torque push to to tighten it i don't i don't over tighten the oil filter there's no need to really hand tight is really good enough i just give it a little crank there but i'm going to show you how to do it now with this mower it's you know that's what i i like these other mowers with you know like the skag you know that new cub cadet too the zt got a lot of room to take this oil filter off you don't have a lot of room but it's it's not the best I'll show you all right guys like I said you don't have much room to operate in here but if you got a oil filter wrench you should be okay all right so you kind of just want to get it on there okay a couple cranks wow that was really not that bad Wow, that was really not on there tight, guys. Um, wow. I don't know if Hustler kind of changed the way that they, um, you know, tighten these oil filters on there, but it was very, very simple. Usually it's, uh, it's a pain. But now you're going to take your oil filter off. Now, there's going to be oil going all over the place, guys. Nothing you can do. If you want to put, you know, something down here, you can. I don't really worry about it too much. I'm gonna wipe it up with a, with a napkin, but you're gonna have a lot of oil. All right, as you can see. Oh, I'm lose that. As you can see, you got a lot of oil still in there. You basically just, you know, put this in your oil pan. And um, now, Obviously, you got a little oil residue down there. Let that kind of drain out until it's done. Again, you could put something down. A lot of people have a lot of different ideas. You know, you got some drainage holes there. That's another good way. I like doing it kind of on the grass because you get, you make a mess and you get this on your driveway or the, the concrete, you know, obviously not a big deal if it's on a part of your lawn that you don't really use too much. But let that sit. And you'll see me wipe it down with a napkin. Then basically you're just putting your new oil filter on. Alright. So like I said, you want to wipe this area down as best you can. Hard to get your, your hands in there. You could do this at the end too. Not a big deal. And if you got an extra piece of plywood, you can always put that down. If you don't want, you know, a couple drops getting on your beautiful lawn. Really clean your oil filter where your oil filter is going to go. Try to get that as clean as you can. Don't worry too much about the bottom here. All right. All right, guys, so after your oil uh, filter is off, you kind of cleaned it up a little bit. You got your new oil filter here. And as you can see, it's the same exact oil filter, uh, 4906570007. A little surprised it didn't have the higher capacity filter on. Like I said, sometimes um, out of the factory, they'll put a, you know the higher capacity oil filter on, but same exact one here. All right, so... What you want to do is you want to get a little oil from your old, old oil. Dip your, your little 
finger in there and you want to put this on the seal here okay and I'm gonna put a nice coat don't worry about it all right all right then it's real simple guys um, take it you got everything kind of cleaned up a little bit get it on there Spinner on. Remember, you want to make it hand tight. All right. There we go. Get your oil filter pliers, like I said, a couple of little cranks, guys, and that's it. Should be about good there. This. All right, and then try to tighten your hand. Yeah, now you're moving. All right, so yeah, you know, two or three little cranks, and that's it, guys. Don't over tighten your oil filter. There's no need to do that. All right, so you got your oil filter on. Super simple. Now you want to take your hose off. Okay. Put that down right here. And now you want to tighten up your plug. Real simple. I'm using a 10 inch extension bar with a 716 socket. And don't over tighten this either, guys. Last thing you want to do is kind of strip. There. As soon as it kind of stops, give it a little bit, little push, and that's it. All right, so that's basically your oil change in a nutshell. Now, all we got to do is add the oil, and you are done. Okay, now we're ready for the oil. Um, you know, you can use many different type of funnels, guys. Um, just make sure you kind of have it sitting around for a little bit. Whatever is in here is going to go into your engine, so make sure it's super clean dust all right it's pretty clean there all right so again a lot of different types of um, funnels you can use all right so now it's time for the oil again I use the mobile synthetic um, if you buy it in this big container it's definitely cheaper just believe it or not so it's like $22 so I bought like four or five of these suckers um, but if you do a lot of oil changes, obviously if you um, run a lawn care company, you're doing oil changes quite a bit. So you'll save money in the long run buying the big five um, quart jug. All right, so this engine here takes two quarts, around two quarts. Always make sure and always check, use your dipstick. Um, but it takes around two quarts. So what I usually do is put around a quart and, you know, 13 sixteenths. Then I start, you know, doing it, you know, I start checking the dipstick. Remember, make sure you get all this tin off because you don't want that going into your engine. Alright, like I said, two quarts.
All right, so after you got your two quarts in, obviously you want to check your dipstick. Now with this, they say don't tighten it, all right? Just lay it in there with this um, engine, all right? Some people, they tighten it and then check it. All you got to do is get it on there. Do not tighten it, all right? Now it's on there, non-tightened. And then you check, and we're at full. Okay, get it right to that full mark there. All right, and it actually will tell you right on there for correct oil level, do not turn cap on the threads. All right, so you just lay it on there. You don't know how many people I know in some of these oil change videos, they tighten it up and then they check, right? And they're, and they're low oil, all right? There we go. All right, nice clean oil. That's really it, guys. All right, guys. The one thing I want to touch on real quick is a pre-filter. All right, now, I don't know if your Hustler Raptor, your Hustler Raptor SD or your Hustler Raptor SDX um, came with a pre-filter. Mine did not, okay? Don't worry about it. You can buy these on Amazon. You know, go to your local mower shop, and they should have uh, pre-filters for the Kawasaki engine, very common engine. Um, you know, these things are lifesavers, guys. Um, I've been, this is my third air filter, all right? If you do leaf clean cleanups, now I just put this on around six days ago. You want to put this on a brand new air filter, all right? I put this on six days ago, and I, I probably used this mower maybe... I don't know, three or four times, all right? But you want to put it on a brand new air filter, all right? But these are a must-have, guys. These will save the life of your air... I mean, you can go hundreds of hours with an air filter if you have one of these pre-filters on, okay? So I finally was like, man, I had a couple left over, so that's why I switched them. Now, I, I could have gotten a little bit longer out of my last air filter, but I knew I was going to be doing this video, so... So what you want to do is blow this area out, get your clean new filter, of course, pre-filter. Blow your... And take your... All right, now remember guys, you're, you're using this on a brand new air filter. You're not doing what I'm doing here. Now, could you do it? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's better to have a, it on now than not at all. And this is pretty much new, okay? But you want to do it with a brand new air filter. All right. And again, these are a must. I, I, I highly recommend them. I can't talk enough about pre-filters. They will just save you so much money in the long run and protect your engine much better. And of course, mostly protect your air filter the most. Okay. So I couldn't so simple I it couldn't be easier make sure you have it over the entire area it'll fit on there real nice okay all right that's it boys your new pre-filter on there and tighten this up I don't know what that is all right tightened up now all you really got to do now um, I'm not gonna do a fuel filter change yet I will do that in another video because I am gonna do that before the year's over obviously this is a mess here um, you know, so happens when these things commercially, unfortunately. Um, that's really it, guys. The next thing I'm going to do is do a blade change. I'm probably not going to add this in the video because I'm already probably at like 25 minutes and most of you guys know how to do that. But I will make a separate video on blade changes later. But that's your oil filter, oil change on your Hustler SDX, your Hustler, and your Hustler SD, guys. This, what you just saw, is the same exact thing 
for the Hustler Raptor, the Hustler Raptor SD, and the Hustler Raptor SDX. So, if you're watching this video thinking, oh, I don't know if it's the same with the with the SD or with the regular Raptor, it's exactly the same. You don't go by the mower as much, you go by the engine. But, again, there's different configurations with this mower. Again, some, some, some companies have the uh, oil hose already attached with a plug on the end and all you do is just take that off that's the best way to do it obviously but with your SDs you get this little hose I think the SDX I mean the uh, the Gravely and the Arians is the same they give you like a little hose I'm pretty sure but that's it guys it's super simple run your mower all right run it for like five ten minutes make the oil drain a lot quicker loosen your oil cap okay then you want to put your your little hose on the end right here you got two one two okay you put your hose on this one you loosen this one that'll make the oil drain once it's done draining then you want to take your old oil filter take it off okay get your new oil filter put a little oil around the the washer at the end there um, give you a nice snug fit around that rubber seal and tighten it up hand tight you know maybe one or two cranks that's it two quarts of oil once you get to around one and seven eighths one and thirteen sixteenths check use your dipstick and remember guys i can't say this enough when you test the oil you're just putting it on just like that do not tighten it it'll tell you right on the dipstick all right all right then you tighten it back up and always make sure you have a pre-filter, guys. It'll save you so much money in the long run. It'll, it'll help protect your engine more, and it'll make your oil filter, your air filter, excuse me, your air, air filter last a lot longer. And that's it. And all you got to do is dump the oil. I'll show you what I do. Pause it. And I take it. Now you can put it in a milk container and bring it to your local, um, you know, what are those called? Where you, you dump your old oil and your, and your garbage, you know, recycling the center. recycling center there. Your recycling center, of course. You bring it to your recycling center. So get it all out there. And, you know, this I use, you know, we do seal cones. So I have tons of these. Um little containers here but it's good if you use the chainsaw a lot because bar chain oil is so expensive you guys know that and um, I just take a little bit a little tiny bit and I'll mix it in with the bar oil I don't recommend it with 10w30 but with the thicker oils um, works a little bit better but that's it folks I hope you had a great day and a easy watch of the hustler SDX oil chain and don't forget, guys, get yourself some turkey hill.